Kellogg's Pep! The super delicious cereal presents... The Adventures of Superman! Faster than a speeding bullet! More powerful than a locomotive! Able to leap tall buildings at a single bound! Look! Up in the sky! It's a bird! It's a plane! It's Superman! Helpless in the presence of Henry Miller, in whose veins flows the deadly kryptonite which enables him to generate atomic power, Clark Kent, whom Miller knows to be Superman, was being slowly starved to death in a secret cellar. Miller, however, who plans to conquer the world for beaten Germany, became alarmed by a report that American scientists were creating a defense against atomic energy. After eliminating Sidney, his henchman, he departed to attack Metropolis, leaving Kent too weak to escape from his concrete prison. Late that night, a terrific explosion shook the terrified city, and news spread swiftly that the huge stadium, the largest in the world, had been mysteriously destroyed. As all available fire and police equipment was rushed to the scene of the disaster, now only a vast smoking crater, Elbridge Thomas, the mayor of Metropolis, has just returned to his home with Police Inspector Henderson. The two are in the mayor's study. Listen. There isn't a particle of the stadium left, Inspector. Not a square inch. How did this, this atom man do it? Well, we're not sure that he did do it, Mr. Mayor. Well, of course he did. Didn't he call me just before midnight and tell me he was going to destroy the stadium in two minutes? It wasn't more than two minutes after that that the first explosion threw me out of bed. Yes, I know that. Now, but... don't tell me again that the big gas main might have, might have done it. it. Runs under Front Street, just north of the stadium, and it wasn't touched. Yes, I know. And neither your men nor the fire department nor anyone else has been able to find trace of bombs or mines. Besides, no ordinary explosive could have obliterated that huge plate so completely. It's as if an earthquake swallowed it, or, or an atomic bomb. Oh, now, 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 let's not lose our heads, sir. We know it wasn't an earthquake. And as for atomic bombs, well, that's out of the question. The atom bomb's the most carefully guarded secret in the world. They might have got a hold of one somehow. Inspector, you've got to find him. He said the stadium was only the beginning, that he was going to destroy the entire city piece by piece. Well, how are we going to find him? We don't know who he is or even what he looks like. Our only hope is that he'll telephone you again tonight as he said he would. And if he does, we can trace the call. I've got men at the telephone exchanges and squads waiting at all parts of the city so we can cover any position quickly. Now, if he was clever enough to do what he did tonight, I'm afraid he's too clever to be caught that way. Look, you said the Daily Planet had mentioned something to you about an atom man. Yes, yes, but there's nothing to it. One of their reporters, Clark Kent, had some wild idea that Teufel, you know, the Nazi scientist who was killed by lightning a couple of weeks ago, was able to create a human atom man. He told you that? Yes, but Kent is always getting some fantastic idea or other. Incidentally, he's been missing for four days now. I wonder whether this has any connection with it. You may have something there. Just possible that Kent was put out of the way before this happened. I suggest you contact Perry White at once. Oh, we've been looking for him and for Jim Olson and Miss Lane for the past two hours. But they're out somewhere hunting for Kent. So I left orders to bring one and all of them here just as soon as they're found. Good. Maybe... Come in. The governor's on the wire, Mr. Mayor. Wants to know if there's any further information about the explosion tonight. Now, tell him not yet, Harris. And apologize for my not being able to talk to him now. I'm expecting a very important call on my private phone. Yes, sir. Uh, what shall I say to the newspaper reporters? There are about 20 of them waiting for you. Tell them I'll issue a statement as soon as possible when we've uh, completed our investigation. There's nothing else I can say to them now. Yes, sir. The papers are driving me crazy. But I don't dare tell them about the atom man. It'll cause a panic in the city. Inspector, we've got to do something. Why doesn't that fellow call up again? At least there might be a chance of tracing him. Well, if there is, we'll grab at it. Who is he? How did he destroy the stadium? What's he after? Heaven only knows. Now you'd better sit down and take it easy. Take it easy. With the papers on my neck, the people in a panic, the governor in Washington demanding an explanation, and this this atom man threatening to destroy the city? I tell you, Inspector, I'm scared. I... Oh, now what? Come in. Mr. Perry White, editor of the Daily Planet, is here to see Inspector Henderson. Oh, good. Send him right in, please. Yes, sir. Right in here, Mr. White. Uh, come on, Olsen. Oh, good evening, Mr. Mayor. All right, I guess it's good morning. Hello, Perry. Hello, Mr. White. Jim? Hi, I Inspector. I understand you wanted to see us, Inspector. Yes, I did. By the way, Mr. Mayor, this is Jim Olson, one of my reporters. Oh, pleased to meet you, Mr. Mayor. Mm. How are you? Look, Perry, what do you know about the Atom Man? The Atom Man? Oh, you mean Henry Miller? Henry Miller? Who is he? He's the Atom Man. He's what? A... Now, no, wait that? a minute, wait a minute. Now, look here, Olson. But he is. Mr. Kent said so. Kent said that? Yes, and what's oh, more... Oh, good heavens, I didn't hear anything about that, Inspector. No, don't pay any attention to him, Mr. Mayor. You you be quiet, Olson. But they asked me... Never mayor. mind what they asked you. Just a minute, Perry. This Miller, who is he? No, oh, he's a young Nazi, apparently, who was working with Teufel. He talked himself into a job as a reporter on my paper. And he disappeared, just the way Mr. Kent did. Inspector, are you looking for him? Of course, but we haven't had any luck. Good heavens. If Kent and Olsen are right, and this fellow does have the secret of atomic power... Ridiculous. That would explain what happened to the stadium tonight. What do you mean? Olsen, I told you to... 
Hold on. What did you say about the stadium, Mr. Mayor? Well, I, I received a phone call that... No, no, I can't tell you about it. Now, wait a minute. I think you should. Mr. White and Jim know Miller. And if he is the one who calls himself the Adam Man, and if he phones again, they'll be able to identify his voice. I don't get it. You're right, Inspector. Perry, I want your word of honor that what I tell you now won't be repeated or printed until I give my permission. That goes for you, too, young man. Huh? Oh, well, sure, but well, I... what is it? Well, just before midnight, I received a phone call on my private wire from a man who said he was the Atom Man. Gleeps. He warned me that in two minutes he was going to destroy the Metropolis Stadium. And not more than two minutes after he hung up, that stadium was destroyed. Good Gleep and lizard. That isn't all. He said he'd call me again tonight and tell me what he was going to destroy next. Boy, that's incredible. I'll bet it was Miller. He's a dirty Nazi and, and an Atom Man. That would explain how every inch of that big stadium could have been wiped out. Besides... That might be him now. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Don't answer yet. Mr. White. Jim. Come over here closer to the phone. Hold that receiver away from your ear, Mr. Mayor, so we can hear his voice. All right. If it is Miller, your men will be trying to trace the call, won't they? Yes, there's a man in the basement now. Tap in on your private wire. He's already flashed a word to every exchange of the city that there's a call coming in. Now just try to keep him talking as long as possible. Stall him all that you can. Okay. Answer it. Well, here goes. Hello? Is this Mayor Thomas? Yes, um, who's calling? This is the Atom Man. It's him. Be quiet, will you? Go ahead, keep him talking. Who, uh, who did you say? You heard me. I said I'm the Atom Man. <laughs> I kept my promise about the stadium, didn't I? Now listen to me while I tell you what's going to happen next. Before the new day dawns, you will be responsible for a terrible catastrophe. Hensley, Perry White, Inspector Henderson, and Jimmy Olsen lean over the mayor's shoulder to hear what Henry Miller, the Atom Man, is about to say. We'll return in a moment to find out what it is. But first, let's stand by for a word from Dan McCullough. You know, gang, I'll bet you'd have a hard time if someone asked you to pick out your favorite comic button from the new series that now comes in packages of Kellogg's Pep. Maybe you'd say uh, Smokey Stover is the funniest with his wide, toothless grin and his, his crazy fireman's cap. And you like K.O. because, well, he's a kind of tough-looking character with his oversized black derby hat. But Superman would probably get the most votes because he's a doggone handsome with his red cape flying in the wind. Of course, no matter which is your favorite, you'll want to collect all 18 different buttons. You'll want the fun of looking for your prize when Mom opens a new package of pet. And you'll want still more fun trading duplicates with your pals. And you wouldn't want to miss the thrill of wearing your buttons pinned on your jacket or dress or cap so that everybody can see how many you've collected. So how about asking Mom right now to be sure to get you some of that super delicious whole wheat flake cereal, Kellogg's Pep. That's the only way you can get these swell buttons, you know. You don't send in either money or a box top. Ask Mom for P-E-P, Pep, made by Kellogg's of Battle Creek. Now back to the adventures of Superman. In the study of Mayor Thomas's home, Editor Perry White, Police Inspector Henderson, and Jimmy Olsen lean tensely over the mayor's shoulder to hear the voice of Henry Miller, the Atom Man, at the other end of the wire. Now get this, Mr. Mayor. Something much worse than what happened to the stadium is going to take place, unless you do as I say. Oh, it's Miller, all right. Will you be quiet, Olsen? Well, uh, what about the stadium? And uh, who did you say this was? Quit stalling. I know you're trying to trace this call, no, but it I... won't do you any good. Now, this is going to be short and sweet. Listen. First, I want you to haul down your dirty American flag from City Hall and raise the German swastika. What? Why, that quiet... Yes. I want to see the swastika over the City Hall when the sun rises. If it's there, I'll call and tell you what to do next. But if it isn't there, everyone in Metropolis will die tomorrow night. If you don't want every man, woman, and child in your city to drown like a rat, you'll do as I say. Goodbye. No, wait. Hello. Listen. Hello. Hello. He hung up. Godfrey, are you sure that was Miller? Oh, sure it was. Yes. All right, now we know who he is and what he looks like. Now, if the call was traced, well, that must be headquarters. Let me take it, please. Inspector Henderson speaking. Now, this is Healy, Inspector. Yes, Healy, did you trace that call? Yes, sir. It came from a pay booth in Central Station. Oh, there'll be a mob there even at this time of night. But hold everyone, Healy. Don't let a soul out of that station until I get there. Hurry. Okay. Come on, Mr. White. You too, Jim. Wait, Inspector. What are you going to do? Now, Miller called from the Central Station. We've got to get him. I'll let you know what happens. Come on, Mr. White. Jim, let's go. Followed by Perry White and Jimmy Olsen, Inspector Henderson rushes from the mayor's house. None of them aware that the Atom Man has changed his appearance since he left the Daily Planet. Only Clark Kent knows that. But Kent at this moment is 55 miles away, a prisoner with two dead men. Sidney and his servant, Jito, in the secret concrete cellar under the garage of Sidney's country house. Weakened by Miller's atomic power and starvation, Kent still feebly throws himself against the thick walls in a hopeless attempt to break through. 
Oh, I can't go on much longer. I'm too weak. Oh, unless somebody comes soon, I'll be finished. Someone has to help me. Oh, only I, only I know about Miller. Only I know. Oh, and I'm almost done for. Oh. I've got to get out of here. I've got to. I've got to. What will happen? Kent, who is Superman, is nearing death in a concrete tomb. What did Henry Miller mean by his threat to drown everyone in Metropolis? And even if he should be cornered in the central station, how can he be taken when he need only lift his hands to destroy the station and everyone in it? Fellows and girls, something startling and surprising happens tomorrow, so don't miss it. Tune in, same time, same station, for the adventures of Superman. Faster than a speeding bullet. More powerful than a locomotive. Able to leap tall buildings at a single bound. Look, up in the sky, it's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman. Fellows and girls, be sure to follow the adventures of Superman. Brought to you every day, Monday through Friday... Same time, same station, by the grand old Kellogg Company of Battle Creek. And for other thrilling adventures of Superman, see your local newspaper. Superman is also a copyrighted feature, appearing in Superman DC Publications.